how to configure Cognex's Insight Vision Suite inputs and outputs. Hey guys, today I'll guide you through using the inputs and outputs feature on Cognex Insight Vision Suite devices, specifically for Insight 2800s and 3800s series. You can find everything I use in the video's description. Before diving into the camera settings, let's start with the black cable. It powers your camera and it serves as our inputs and outputs cable for signals. Within the black cable, there are 12 inner wires. Today, we'll be focusing on the 6 that are designated for inputs and outputs, comprising of 2 fixed outputs, 2 fixed inputs, and 2 configurable ones. For this demonstration, I'll be focusing on the 2 configurable cables and 1 of the input cables, using them to control 2 external lights that'll be visual indicators if our inspection passes or fails. The yellow cable will be for one of the lights and the white and brown cable for the other light. The orange input cable will be for an external button to activate the trigger. Make sure your Cognex device is connected and powered on. Now open the Insight Vision Suite software. I've already loaded a job. We'll go to the inputs and outputs section on the left to configure the signals specifically for the configurable ones, numbers 2 and 3. Look under Direction, you'll find two drop-downs, one for each configurable signal, offering options for input and output. I'll set them both as outputs. Next, under Signal Type, we can choose from the different signal options. I'll leave it as programmed to use the job's statuses. This allows us to use the job results as the signal to activate the external illumination. For job result, you can precisely select which job status will trigger the signal. I'm using classify pass for number two and classify fail for number three to use as the signals. To the right, adjust pulse time, output delay, and acquisition delay. I'll leave them unselected to keep the external light on and enable the energize when offline to turn off the lights when the system is offline. In the last column, you can force the signal on and off. Before testing the job, ensure that your device is in online mode. Otherwise, the ins and outs function won't work. Now, let's give it a try. As observed, I have one bar light turning on when the job passes, and when it fails, the other bar light turns on while the first one turns off. Now that's it for this quick tutorial on how to configure Carnex's inputs and outputs. I hope you found this real helpful. As always, thanks for watching.